if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he has testified of his son. Let me ask you a question. What will be happening in this church on 13th of December? Our Thanksgiving service. How did you come to believe that? I said it. And you believed it. Now the Bible says if you can believe the witness of man, just what Pastor Mwala has told you, you believe it. The witness of God is? If you seriously believe that on 13th of December, we'll be here celebrating the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God. We'll be here thanking God for what he has done in our life. And you have believed. And you'll even give your money to us that because you have believed my word. Then what God says is greater. Okay? So what is God saying? Verse 10. He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in himself. He who does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of his son. So there are two people in the world, those who have believed and those who have not believed. And those who have not believed, they are saying one thing, God is a liar. So if God gives you a testimony about Jesus Christ and you don't believe, then you are calling your father, your creator, a liar. Then if your creator is a liar, you yourself, you are a lie also. So look at verse 11. And this is the testimony. Now listen, listen to the testimony of God. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his You have it right now where you are. You will not wait to die then the people pray for you to live purgatory to go and have eternal life. Right now where you are, you are a possessor of eternal life. Shout amen if you believe. You will not have it in future. Does the Bible say we'll have? If you believe in Christ Jesus, what happens? You have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish but have eternal life. Praise be to Jesus. So, and who is testifying this? Look at verse 11. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. Now look at verse 12. He who has the son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. So here we have people who are living and those who are dead. He who has the son, so if you have Jesus, you have life. It's not your life. It's the life of Jesus in you. And how do you get Jesus? Just by believing on him. So if you have believed on him, you have life.